We got our first Champions League group stage games ever today, my friends. But first, let's see if we can figure out this stadium thing. Yeah. All right, my friends, let's do this. Here's my thoughts. We have a 2,000 capacity, 200 seated stadium. That's not very good. The rent is nominal. There's no sense in us buying that. In reality, Captain Tilly rents from and shares a ground with a rugby club, which ruins the pitch. Um, because, because it does. Because it's a rugby club. That's, ha that's what happens, right? Um, so I think we should just buy a new stadium. Unless it like we could buy the current one and expand it, but like, let's just go build a new stadium. Okay, I like the current minimal expansion potential. That kind of leads us down that path, right? We're at the stadium, which is up with anything. The entry, modern forward-thinking club. That's so like, yay, a pie in the sky. The club achieve its ambitions. How about this? Without a rather sizable increase in our fan base, moving to a new stadium could bring about more problems than benefits. I can't stress how important I think it won't do you any good. They don't care. I would like the club to buy the stadium from its owners to create a feel-good atmosphere around the place. I'd like the club to buy the stadium from its owners to know able to upgrade the stadium in the future. Owning the stadium outright help the club out massively. We'd be in full control over our match day revenue and be in a position to take full advantage of that. That sounds good. We cannot afford to do so right now. How much money do they want? How much money do they want? It's a 200-seater. Okay, they weren't gonna build a new one. Like you could see that, right? Like I could have tried all those options. It's like you can ask all you want, but we're not building a new stadium. So, okay, buy stadium now until December. I don't know if that's a positive for the club or not. To be honest with you. While we're at it, uh, hold on. What else are we we're working on? We did youth facility. Let's, let's hey, while the while the the asking is good, is there anything else we want? Personnel, networking, finance. How about this? Challenge for our first team role. We want young players, right? Yes. Okay. So it does help to have, you know, that as a philosophy. Will we run out of money? Who who knows how much it's going to cost to buy a, a piddly 2,000 capacity, 200 seater stadium. I don't really care because they weren't going to build a new one. You may be like, this is the worst idea ever. That money could be better spent elsewhere. But this way, we're at least moving the club forward, right? Like we now are going to own the stadium and then... You know, they could expand it. A little. We'll have to see it. Probably uh, you could expand it to 3,000 seats. Ooh, but in reality, that could be a big deal because we got 200 seats right now. So, you know, for a champ if we could get to an 8,000 seater where we could host our own Champions League games and Europa League games, that would be massive. Um, and again, it's one of those things where, you know, hey, like 725. Okay, cool. Um, it could be something where you go. That's really going to limit your ability to buy a stadium because you have to wait 15 or 20 years. It's like, I'm not going to be playing in 15 or 20 years. We're going to be in FM20 by that point. So I, you get what you get, you know? So let me know what you think about that. And uh, let's hop forward to play some Champions League. Leverkusen. I like that both of our first games are, or no, just the first one's away. And then we host Barcelona. Yeah, that's that's good. All right, my friends, let's go. I, oh, you know, that's annoying, to be honest with you. So we're going to do what we did last time. We're going to play 4-1, four, one, four, one, pretty much the entire tournament.
I think. I mean, when you think Leverkusen, who finished second in the Bundesliga, is probably the weakest team in our group, right? Like, that's Carlo Ancelotti is at Barcelona. And Gallardo, Marcelo Gallardo, who is currently in real life River Plate or Argentina manager. Excellent times, my friends. Ooh, finished fourth. They're having a down year. Trent Alexander-Arnold is the captain. Allison's still there beautiful thing um not for us but you know so yeah defensive shorter passing play at a defense target man slow the pace down if we can nick a point boys if we can nick a point right i'm not it, the unfortunate thing is dean doyle i can't remember if i share this is out with a twisted ankle for two to five weeks which is quite the range so he's out um, and that's going to, you know, mess a lot of things up because we have Davies. Edridge can come in. Sean Flynn is is going to be on the bench instead of McPherson just be well, because why not? Uh, they both just played, but Sean's younger. No, is he? McPherson's 23. I think Sean has better mentals. He's got the bravery and anticipation, and he's six foot six. So, well, he's only had, you know, whatever. It, it's fine. Um, White, Russell. We got White, uh, other White. Playing deep line playmaker again, more more like a little bit further back on the pitch rather than roaming around. Um, I think I was gonna do okay. We could do deep in a ditto, but he's Witty has a uh, what is a sprained wrist, and so he's wearing equipment. That's why we're st we're still gonna play him. That's why his physical condition is fine because you you know just don't make him don't make him uh, do a throw in. I guess. Um, hold on a second. All right, sorry about that. Had a call come in. All right, so again. I, I'm I'm tempted to do something else with Russell, but like he's not really. I, I kind of liked having D Benedetto in there to do box to box. He can do. He's got the physicals for it. It'll be fine. Because I want to have that support, right? Like if if we got our wingers, we need somebody up here helping out. Is how I look at it. I don't think this matters. We got smashed. It, it, it was something in the the uh, the the press conference talking about you know the last time you played. I'm like, well. That was ages ago to begin with. I don't, I, I can't remember. I guess it was Champions League qualifying. or I, I remember it happening. I remember we got smashed. Um, show me what you do to keep our run going. Yeah, do that. Come on, boys. They're motivated. That, that's, you know, that's positive. Um, I'm not going to jinx it. Uh, there's the chairman question. They're trying to get me fired. That's what it is. Leon Bailey is missing. Um, they've got good players. Uh, we always take each game as it comes. Let's do some soundages here. What do you think the score is going to be? If we can keep it under three? Can we keep it under three? Okay, five minutes in, they're going to have a goal. No, we got to save. Yes. 85 minutes to go, friends. What? You cannot be serious. That's worse than the back pass. What are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? What are we doing with our lives? Was it Liverpool? It's because I said five minutes too soon. Yep. That, my friends, it might be my favorite FM highlight. And SI would go, well, hey, look at, you know, Look at Karius in, in the the Champions League final. I sure, I I guess. But really re really? Really? Oh, you've gotta be freaking kidding me. He was hold he was standing his ground. We've been I is this the worst FMing you've ever seen? Is that or uh, technically not FMing. Uh that that's when you have all the shots of possession, I suppose that Maybe that's my definition of FMing. We blocked the penalty. It'd be it. It'd be nil nil. Are we gonna score? That'd be amazing. Oh, ref, ref, where's the penalty there, huh? Huh? The Wurstenberger. Hmm, it's a Wurstenberger. Uh, hey, Davies, there's the guy running past you. Yeah. So it would be one nil if our keeper had waited for that guy to move out of the way. Cause like when he didn't see him.
If this is what Champions League group stage is going to be like, do I even record this? I mean, tell the boys they did excellently. No, I'm going to say you were awful. Hey, Davies, you let that guy run right past you. I'm not happy with your performance. Suck it up, buttercup. That is the most amazing. I'm, I'm, I, this feels like when we got the double red cards against Iceland in the friendly where I'm like, I'm just so stunned. And they've got a guy at a 6.06.1. It's, this is incredible. Everything is incredible. Witty's on a yellow. He's probably going to get set off. Our wingers are getting absolutely wrecked by theirs. I mean, there's no sense in going for it, is there? <laughs> Davies is on a 6.2. This is bad. Oh, gosh. this is. We might as well get some guys some experience. That's the kind of where I'm at right now. You know? Like... Both wingers are frustrated. Like, do we just here? Let's just do this. It, it's like kind of like the five three two, but not. You know, we the same idea. We've got a lot of people behind the ball. Let's go have Gleason. He's gonna he's gonna change the world for us. We're still gonna play defensive. We're going to get wrecked on the wings now, but it's better than our wingers getting sent off. That's the most unbelievable. I, I cannot, I, I cannot believe that highlight. Again, not that I thought we were going to win a game in, in Champions League group stage. I did not think that, but to do that in the fifth minute is a bit stunning to me, to be, to be honest with you. We had 61% possession. So playing defensively and, and shorter passing all that has has worked from that standpoint. And they... Oh, I thought that was a goal. I thought he curled it in. You know. It's been fun. We're, we got a new stadium out of the deal, okay? Or, 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 you know, buying our current stadium so that, you know, 17 years down the road we can upgrade it. I'm sure they won't upgrade it after this. That's, that's, I'm, yeah. Oh, man, that is amazing. We've we completed a bunch of passes. We just haven't done anything with it. And that, you know, that's kind of okay. We didn't get, like, 8-0 wrecked, I guess, is, is the way I'm going to look at this. Okay, there you go, Russell. Taking the ball off there. Nice. We will look at the positives. We're just glad to be here. We're just trying to make our fans proud by putting in a decent effort. And I could, I think you could say, with four shots and one on target, good possession, good passing, we put in a decent, not amazing. I'm not going to say it's an amazing effort. Now, I do want to know, should we just do, like, should we do a flat five? I'm seriously going to consider that. Park the bus, flat five, hit them on the counter, like, once a game. But then they're just inviting the pressure. Is it better to go, like, with your 4-2-3-1 that you know and love? This highlight's going to continue, and they're going to score. No? Um, and, 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 like, not that we're Ajax, but, like, try and Ajax it, where you say, like, I don't care who we're playing up against. We're going to play our game. Or, you know, like, if this is the third-place team and they're beating us 2-0, we have Barcelona and Liverpool next. I just don't think that's going to go well. So do we just put... Everyone behind the ball, you know, park the, I, I may do that. I'd like your thoughts on that um, for the next pair of games that we show you. Um, it was just one of those days. And then I would have a little sidebar conversation with Janata. I'd be like, what, dude, what, what were you doing? I still think a 2-0 is not a hor I mean, you know, like, that's not a horrible result. It's not like you got beat 12 nothing and you don't belong. We can be proud. Oh, he says this after he said in the press earlier that they were going to wreck us. So, yeah, yeah, we can be proud, surely. Um, well, com competent. Did you guys miss the mistake? Did, did you guys miss the mistake? You'd think they would mention the mistake led directly to a goal from his foot 
off of the, the opposition's head right in front of him. Right, my friends. I got a bunch of games to go play. We're going to play Barcelona at home. That, let's just take a little gander at Barcelona's. Oh, Pablo Dybala. Yeah. Oh, Kylian Mbappe. Okay. Usman Dembele. Mtiti's there. Ter Stegen is there. He's 35. I'm sure there's a bunch here that, you know, you recognize all the names and I don't. But, yeah. Yeah. That's... That's good. That's, that's good. That, things are great. Things are great. Okay, I'm having to re-record this. Be I'm having to re-record this because I had the Women's World Cup on in the background of my browser, and it recorded the sound. And obviously, I can't. I can't have that. Uh, so, youth intake. Patrick Slavin, potentially one of the most gifted players to come through the youth ranks. We've heard that before, right? And then my notable influence in bringing Alan Keegan on. So, I've already looked at these. I can't give you my initial reaction. Like, ooh, right. Patrick looks like a winner. Definitive two star, five star potential, six foot three. I mean, this is delicious. This is the first time I feel like that our 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 head of YouTube was like, we should be super excited about this player. And I've been like, yes, I concur. You look at the report. He's John Smith is a midfielder, so take him out. This is our fifth best center back. Sixteen just joined the club. Better heading by than Frank by six, but Frank's got better marking and leadership and. Oh, but he's left-footed, a left-footed center back, my friends, at 16. Thank you very much. Alan Keegan is more what you expect from when they're like, yeah, you know, my notable influence on bringing in this guy who has two determination and seven agility and five heading, and he plays a no-nonsense fullback when we play a wing back, you know? Like, mm. um, the other ones, if you come here, so Sunday Uze is a great name. I think we'll just sign him because of the name. Is an either-footed poacher. Concentration is a four. He has a shot. He's a definitive one star. So that's that. Like, it's the first time we've had actually had like, oh, they actually have some stars here. Um, he's okay. He's not amazing, but he's okay. Sixteen. He's got a chance to get better. The other one's Gary Walsh. I mean, it says he's got three star potential. I'm not sure I'm buying that. It'd take a while. That's really the only ones I took a look at. Where I, I I'm gonna attend the uh, the youth game and just you know not watch, and then. We'll sign Patrick and Sunday and Stephen Coleman. I can't remember if I showed him to you. Right-footed winger. You know, good determination of work rate. Pacey, needs to work on his strength and jumping reach. He's five foot nine. Okay starting attributes, but I like the physicals and the determination. You know, he's got a shot. He's got a shot to be the next... Well, let's just enjoy this whole thing. Look at that. <laughs> okay, peach fuzz and long dreadlocks. Amazing. Amazing. So that's what's going on there, my friends. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hop forward and we'll see who um, they think we should sign because that that has been happening. Was saying like don't sign everybody, which is what usually happens at the beginning parts of saves. It's more of like, well, let's let's sign these four. Let's see what they say. This is a little surprising. Um, only four, five if you count the really bad goalkeeper, um, are being recommended to keep. The right winger who's already one star. The either-footed poaching striker. This guy, the six-foot-three monster center back, who's already two stars, and then surprising me a little bit is a midfielder, um, with three-star potential, and then a bad goalkeeper. I'm kind of like, why don't we just sign a goalkeeper on our own? I've actually tried that a little bit, but it's a, a thing with like finding players that. You know, I'm okay paying him, like, whatever. We're paying Anthony Gribben 300 a week because I think he's got some potential here. But, like, they want, like, a 1000 a week. And it's like, well, I can't do that. You're making more than some of our starters. That doesn't make any sense. So, interesting. And, in fact, that's what I just did. Uh, we've scouted this guy before. He's got potential. He's 17, so he's just a year older. But he's significantly better. If you do the comparison here to... Mm, Stephen O'Reilly, like, he is so much better. Like, even if O'Reilly improves, I just don't think he's going to improve enough. We're going to pay this guy 250 a week. Hot prospect. He's already had two starts as a backup for St. Pat's. I'm not saying he's great, but he's a better option, I think, at 17. So, what, he can be on the squad for at least a year, if not two, and maybe we can get a better one through 
youth intake next time. So I'm, I, I just don't think this guy's got it. This is it, my friends. Theoretically, this is it. What? Um, was today the day and we can't do anything because today was the day I wasn't watching it that closely it says he's eligible zero days to eligibility but just eligible for Germany well, now I'm just confused. Okay, I think we have a game today. We're playing... I mean, this is ridiculous. We have, like... Look at the games. Look at the games. Uh, starting to... Starting... Well, we've lost some games, you can see. Uh, lost to Cork City. Lost to Sligo Rivers. You've got... <laughs> just to go back. Okay, four days to here. Three days. Three days. Three days. Two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. Insane. Oh, and by the way, we've got some left-back problems because Jordan Davies has a twisted ankle for 11 days to four weeks, and Dean Doyle is not back yet. He's been out six days to two weeks. This is crazy. It's cr it's crazy. So, okay, we that's tomorrow. I'm gonna We're going to do it live. We're going to go one day forward. He should now be eligible. We are on the 29th. Frank Erich. I don't understand. It says he's eligible. Days completed. Okay, what is at least five years consecutively? So 365 times five is 1825. He's completed 1830. Why can't I call him up? Why is he only eligible for Germany? He's never been called up. What is going on? Uh, I'm going to have to stop recording again and figure this out. Okay, I think I figured it out. It's five years continuously after the age of 18. So, do we have to wait until he's 24? Would that be the full five years? 18 to 19, 20, 21, 22, 23? No, that doesn't make sense either. Because it says he's completed the days. I'm thinking maybe October 29th we check again. That or he just isn't interested. But that doesn't make sense because it said in the media that he like thought he could he could he could play for us. And he's days of eligibility days to eligibility zero completed 1830. I'm just curious about this because it says must live in the country for at least five years consecutively after the age of 18. So is it after you turn 18 or after the age of 18? So 19 to 24. So we'll find out, I guess, in a little bit. Just to give a brief update, we are three points clear with two games in hand because we have dropped some points. So that's a little disappointing, but we're getting pressure from, pressure from Shamrock. So here we go. We're going to go for it. We're going to go... I mean, not go for it, do a 4-2-3-1, but we're going to try and play our game with a DM. Again, trying to get our best players on the pitch, except Gleason. We got Aaron Brennan we can bring in if we want to go two up top and just have a six foot seven monster that we're trying to ping the ball to and float crosses. I'm not afraid to do that. We're having to play Arthur on the left, which he doesn't really love, but he is either footed, so, you know, he just, just doesn't know it as well, but that's okay. Doolin is getting starts. Erich, I mean, it's just rough. The, the left back situation kind of came to bite us because we don't have a good depth on our youth squad. Like the youth squad left back is like a three gray star, you know. Um, let's show everybody how good we're capable. Blah, 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 blah. I have complete. Yeah, he's playing, you know, come on. Um. SC Barcelona are always a tough opponent. Is is that really what we're saying? Is that really like how many times have we played them? I'd like to know. 
So it, I just enjoy these guys thrashing us. I just didn't want to just try park the bus. We're at home. I want to put on a show if we can for our fans. And if we can't put if we can't put the show on for our fans, we'll we'll enable Barcelona to do the same thing, so that they can score a bunch of goals and impress our fan base. Of course, it's a penalty. I mean, referee. What is this? The Women's World Cup? You know, VAR. You know, oh, another penalty. Mm. Mbappe, killing Mbappe. Don't worry. Yeah, I think he. Yeah, this is. You know, it's a little more painful than I was anticipating. To not to be completely honest with you, um, we sold twenty thousand tickets, so that's that's good. But it's just, it's like, yeah, we made the Champions League. Yeah, we're getting battered. You know, because we are. The the, the what what was it like the second from bottom team from a from a rating standpoint oh archer what are you doing mate oh that was a poor finish <laughs> one on one with a keeper but it's like you know like should i just play our backups here so we can win the league you know like you don't want to do that um Erich is frustrated and angry and not anxious and uh is thompson gonna get sent off here is this what the highlight is is that him here? okay you, you stay out of the play because the the, the ch well maybe it's already gone through to ease off your tackles Oh, Cal. Okay. Cal Braith. Hey, we want to head her up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? what is going on in this episode? It's not just my inner ear, right? Like, this is actually happening. We're not watching that. Back. Galbraith is... I, I think we're selling Galbraith. He has just kind of made me so mad because he's been wanting playing to... Oh, we've injured Kelly Mbappe. Oh, it's a knee injury what you get <laughs> he's just been so bad and then wanting playing time and then we played him and now what was and, and after making a mistake he's gonna fall apart so now we're gonna have to change our system bring in russell i guess we could go four two three one can our four two three one match up with theirs no um you've been unlucky staring at galbraith the rest of you have been unlucky galbraith gleason could pay play back here but that's not his spot so let's go for it, boys. You know, you can, you can slide over here. Yeah, I the excitement I had about being in the Champions League has uh, has gone away. It, and now it's more just like, oh, please don't get injured, you know? Is that normal? Have you done this before? Have you taken a, a club like this, right? Like taking, whether it's you built the nation up and eventually got in the Champions League or or like you start out as the perennial, you know, fourth seed. When you're that fourth seed, is this just how it feels? Where you're just like, let's go get battered again. Oh, wait, we got Liverpool next, you know? Like, we're just trying to see if we could score a goal. Like, Baby steps. Look at all of the yellows. My goodness, lads. Stop it. Ooh. Look at the yellow cards. If our entire team misses the next game from yellow card accumulation, we don't have a team. We like that won't be possible for us to play. Doing us on a 6.0. We're just getting oh. Oh, it's bad. We're gonna send Brennan in. And we're going to take off. I mean, they're both playing atrocious. It doesn't really matter, does it? Let's try and balance it out a little bit. It, do it doesn't. I'm sorry. It, I'm trying to think of something to make this interesting. But, you know, maybe we can... Oh, shoot. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Whoop. Float the don't work it in the box, just float the crosses. See if we can get to the head of Brennan or Elaine. Both pretty good in the air. Obviously, Brennan is six foot seven, but we we killed killing Mbappe. We didn't. We injured him. Oh 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 wait that oh this is theirs. I was excited for a second. Aaron Brennan's picked up yellow. I mean, is the referee got like a, a bet a wager on the number of yellow cards in in the game? And of course, I knew I knew as soon as that happened, I thought that was a good tackle. Uh, at least we sold a bunch of tickets. Baby steps, right? Sold a bunch of tickets. Bought our stadium. Pain. 
pain, my friends. And I know you could say, like, you should have played 4141. I don't think it would have mattered. Do you? Do you think it would have mattered, really, if we played a 4141? I still think they beat us. Now, I think it's it's impressive it's only right now 3 0. We're not out of the game yet. This could be a fourth. We got out of the game a 3 0 against Barcelona. I think, you know, you just accept life. You just accept life. Um, unlucky boys. Next time, please don't get so many yellows and go t get you a juice box because we got a game, you know, every other day for like the next year. So, right. Um, yeah, we're worried about their goal scoring against clubs like that. Are you serious? You're not serious, are you? We need to beat Waterford. They're fourth. This game we don't care about. And then we, we, we just need to string together. Look at this. this. This looks like bad form, right? Like we've lost a bunch of games. What, four games of six? But, you know, two of them are against Champions League teams and two of them are against Premier teams. So, you know, it's not as bad as it looks. But then we've got Iron Brew Cup third round. The board wants us to get us to the quarterfinals. So we have to beat Inverness Caldosian Thistle, whatever it is. Cald Caldonian, the Thistle, the Thistle one. Just look at the game. This is insane. This is insane. And like, oh, you finally get a breather at the end of the year where you get to play Liverpool, Leverkusen, and Barcelona. So... Um, let's look at the finances. We made money on that. 731,000 euros. Now, that's not exclusively that game, but yeah, it, it, it's a good chunk of it. So, next time you see us, my friends, it will actually be Ireland for Luxembourg and Romania. We're going to have some call-ups there. We'll have to see what happens. I'm, I'll check again with, uh, with a good old Frankie here for the Armenia call-up. We can't set a friendly, can we? No, of course not. Lovely. All right, hit the li hit the like. I do whatever you want. Bye.